Enid. He's going to be the one given an opportunity to make a big play here. The first found the dash out, and that's a three. The Starzo at this point, it becomes dangerous, and Zisto's lurk through already makes this damage done. Brave, uh, just one hit, but it's not going to be landed at all. With Zeke going down, the spike will be planted. Super massive plays, well and true advantage. They've got the plans, and oh, they've got the big peaks, but they're losing players. It doesn't matter as they close it out. Down the Nano Swarm to get a player into wine. It's been red, expected, and super massive plays. Well, they apply quite a nice bit of pressure, but behind him, he has to charge forward, and he'll do so successfully. They're even running all the sight because the Zen members are here to fight. CNED dropped right away. Uh, SMB are holding on remarkably well in this round so far, and now even propelling into the lead. There's still 30 seconds left. That's still a decent left. amount of time to work with. And with a 2v2 and low oh, HP on Starzo, oh, oh. it's so winnable, but oh. Mode Cold will save the day. A very well, positive position. That from CNED is just no. disgusting. Like, to, to get the, the deep player as well, you've just got to be for a stress. Ludicrous. Is he's going to be dropped here? So, uh, no team as they scrambled to deal with him. His turrets actually not going to spot Cider, so he's able to at least get the first. And now on the swing around, he's actually getting a little bit more, but never mind. The round will. No info spotted, but they're going to just run out right afterwards. The Blade Storm on Izzy, getting some good damage in, and now looking for a little bit more down below. The oh. right click hasn't landed. Starzo's given an opportunity. And they've used the res, committing a lot into this one. The Shock Dart, though, is going to drop, and the, the problem is the time. Down to just 10 seconds. They have to get this plant in. And there's a Hunter's Fury to try and deny it as well. If he dies here, it could all be over. He's going to get it within the second. It will go down. And now Bone Cold, well so close to winning it individually has to try and take on three well he's already had the 3k but this is going to be a much harder one they're just anchored on the site great shot the reaction time was lightning fast but we'll see it to be here but he still manages to get away with a shot escaping this should be impossible and it will be dead there's going to be a counter lockdown but they've started to swing back in the other direction big early spot by starzo here comes a cosmic divide defensive side and offensive they're kind of trapped in towards jenny play this one together having all the angles open time's going to start to be an issue great pick by starzo that mitigates a lot of those problems that start to develop down below surely he doesn't get both as they drop on in they're lined up and gove knocks them down five to two super massive confident that this round goes to nice, easy, yeah, just clean as, yeah, no problems really in this round. Because. <laughs> oh, I eventually, oh, uh, come a few on. Kills, maybe, I don't want to be right. I don't want to be right. <laughs> you will time. Not kill my allies. Oh, break their own wall. Yeah, oh, uh, few, yep, yeah, few more for a send, naturally. Come in with pistols and end up in a 1v3. Brave is alone. And he's dealt with as well. Gwenda are in a prime spot after that previous round, but now with the rifles in hand, they've got to do something that apparently is a little bit more difficult for them, winning a pie round. Oh, Starzo is absolutely screwed, and they're being ripped apart. Wow, Supermassive Blaze took that one. Knew them for their attack. Through, but the problem is the amount of space that's available. Izzy's going to be going right over the top again. The right click betrays him, gets nothing for it. But Bravest turned the round. He is looking fantastic. I was wondering how the switch of agents would play a part for him, but well, it seems like it's no problem at all. And then you got Glad pushing into the util combo though. Uh, this could be perfect. They got the grab well on the other side. They don't know nice. it's there because of their screen. That's perfect. The cosmic divide pulls or almost tricks them into position. And now the door's closing. There's only seconds left on the clock. They have to go sprinting into this site. And while well, there is just no time for Glow to do anything. Solid round from Ascend. The bait and switch having all round. Ah, oh, Brave! That is so cocky! With a classic as well! He will go down to Bone Cold, but... Oh, oh, you sneaky boy, Glow! He's made it into the site and... Well, only good for the one. The remarkable that they were all in positions where he couldn't see them. <laughs> if anyone was kind of standing up behind. He might... Oh, they've turned! But not in time! Bone Cold looks back towards the site. Izzy cuts them off, and it's only CNED left down below. They know exactly where he is. The first is found, and CNET almost gets it. 
10 HP left on Zistel, but he'll put down the slow and uh, okay. try to stay alive. It's tough, but Brave ends up oh. getting CNET for his trouble. A heal and a wall, he's gonna get out of there alive. To play with, so it's just gonna come down to the individual aim. So at least the O corner. And super massive players have a tough retake. If they can take Zeke down, enjoy up close, as they'll just swing in together out of ammo. Normally need to destroy a lockdown. You're looking at maybe that fragment. Either that or you're looking at shock darts. Now Blade Storm going to be swinging the corner on the glow. A big fight for him. What a spray correction. Catching Bone Cold as he comes around the corner. A little bit more needs to be done. Supermassive Blaze. Have Zistow on the site. That lockdown cannot be used. Not from where he currently is. They just rush him down. He's got to win the duels instead. And it's a little bit too difficult. Blade Storm still looking for some victims late into the round. And it's going to be valuable for stopping that retake from coming through. Or actually, he's going to use it as a backup to his rifle. Ciderax getting caught off by that. Starzo with another. It's clean. It's a send. With Go for those same sort of rotations you might desire. You want to oh, here's the reveal on Brave. He actually is quite brave. He's swinging out wide, playing with his team on that fight and getting a massive reward for it. They're going to get that res through, though, the Cosmo. Almost waiting for Starzo to try and get something here, but Izzy's just too quick for them in both cases. Two down, it's left onto Bone Cold. He needed an ace of it. Completely smother Cider X. He is out all alone on the back of the side in Boathouse. It's a pretty tall task. Spike planted. I think you're safe. Situational, and unfortunately, this one just didn't apply to it. I think they're likely to throw the entirety of their utility belt. They know there's only one place that Glow could have been. A Hunter's Fury of their own going to be thrown forward, and already they will capitalize. Maybe not with the kill, but with the space that it took. Uh, to be honest, with what Glow was able to do there, I'm incredibly impressed. He stayed alive for so long underneath a heaven. He managed time, and so we're looking at the round definitely going to ascend despite these picks that are, you know, definitely in SMB's favor. They've pretty much killed everyone. The spike will still explode. Yeah, okay. They wiped the entirety of the ascent. Any ground in the early stage, but no, oh no, it will not find anything. That is conclusive evidence brought to you by CNET. But Zistow's found another to Starzo. This is looking very good for SMB with the res coming through. Sure, a plant is found, but to hell with your plant. There's no Hunter's Fury on the side of control. That, that's the bigger problem. This is that's where you're always going to be putting the lockdown. So CNET in space, and actually, they're just going to kill off everyone that tries to get into position. A slaughterhouse of the remaining players. Another comes through for Bone Cold, and while this has to be the defense of the lockdown to have any chance. Send, but is what it is. There's a push coming down on mid. No connections from the rifles, but it's Cider X to take down Killez as the attempt to push through short is met by Brave. Able to pick up a first. Glow in with another. This is looking good for SMB. They've got a lot of control here. The spike on the floor and Zeke. Well, although he'll find the first, can even get this planted. There's so many players around. And take down the jet as well. This is starting to get a little bit dangerous. Shock Dart avoided another tap. He's going to be flanked out from the door, though. Zistow saving the day for SMB. Dart armor stripped from a lot of these players and damage done. Look at Zeke. Ooh, okay. Well, I mean, expected. He's been playing here a bit. They've spotted him before. If he can manage to find a kill or two, it'll be fantastic, but nothing. Landed as they overrun B. And SMB have to now take stock of what they've got. They can't lose Izzy here. Oh, he's gone down right away. The lockdown for kill has deployed. It's not needed. The kills come in. Well, hold on. Izzy's going all the way up. Aggressive into their faces. <gasps> and a double kill is rewarded for it. The dash back a player above surely will be his demise. But a good start to this important Ooh. round, CNED. It can also play a, a dirty after plan here. Kill has always going to get so lucky. He's got CNED alongside him. The ping will give some info. The shock darts could actually do a reasonable amount of damage here, but now it's left to side our X. He has not had the best of games individually, and they're even going to try and Hunter's Fury him out of this corner. I don't think he's dead. Yeah, a bit of a weird one. It won't matter, though. CNED's there to take it to O. Oh, okay. He's going to catch him in the smoke instead. Killer's trying to be a bit audacious. No way out. CNED has rotated in. That operator watching from up high, landing the shot and leaving just one man standing ascend. What a time for them to step up and take the buy round now. Uh, back over to their attack where there were very few teething issues with C. I have the spike. 
Costly for a Sands attack early on. There's the opening pick for Izzy. The operator going to swing out wide. The dash still well and truly online, giving them all this confidence to play with. But they've redirected themselves. Ascend instead, shifting focus to Cider X on the <gasps> back of B. He is taken down immediately. Kill has oh, got another. No. Ascender back on top. A four versus two now sits in front of them, and a plant will be secured. Planted. Super massive blaze are going to have to fight tooth and nail to get this one across the line. Izzy's even spotted crossing on mid. Oh, will he dead. check his close right corner? No. Kill has another. Glow left alone. This is looking like a send have made the comeback happen. Super massive blaze. Pick this map and they get off to a flying start. But uh, they're cautious about having hope for SMB. I like this aggression early though. That really sets the tempo. Map control and Brave. He's hearing every single footstep. Just look at the lurk in from behind. But Killers has caught him. If they manage to trade this back, it could be a problem. And more importantly, Brave stays alive. And now Glow is just not expected within the site. He mops up the remainder, leaving just killers and while brave is still in behind oh that's it coming out of ascend so much space already garnered and while well, the the fight back from glove or oh, nice shot at least but he can't quite connect the no scope it would have been incredibly impressive if he could and by the looks of it stars is actually going to go pushing all the way down killers waiting on that flank and in fact, these players are not taking TP. They're going along. There's one. Oh, AZ. Okay. The nade is going right on target. These players push back towards the site. I think they're still going to be safe from spike explosion, which Izzy will go down to on purpose. That is comps here running. Zeke's still going to make it through with the blast packs. Not quite as quickly as he'd hoped. And he'll be caught, actually. Izzy with an off angle. And now they're going to fight over towards the bathroom where Starzo was spotted stuck in the corner. And he oh, that's a <laughs> nasty beak. They know that there's two locked in there, and with the wall behind, it's going to take some time for the remainder of the players to actually get through. They have information of at least three of these four players are not coming in from the spawn side, so it's very possible that Ascend tried to get aggressive around the other side, and that's exactly what they do. They clear towards the spawn and have an afterplant for a different position. Killers is in a bit of trouble, but luckily he's got CNED to support him. Another double coming in, and while Izzy tries his best but it isn't going to be in a force. Is he completely into the open? Not in, in the most normal spot for it to be placed. He's going to get killed off by the nade. Not anything he can really do. the good. Lost shields on Zeke. Lost shields on CNED. And now the showstopper activated. But oh my God, Brave has just ruined the hopes of this round. They committed so much on the side of Ascend. A showstopper. An orbital strike. And again, we're seeing this more and more. The staggered pit. Viper behind. Sova up close, or someone else up close. It's not to be Sova. Up close on this side, though, you've got a lot of Ascend players dashing on out, finding actually mixed results. Brave is shutting this down from long. Everything was looking good until this man got involved. And, well... Yeah. Out with the peak, but he's actually missed the timing completely. So Brave is going to sneak round, flash into his face. And <laughs> okay, Vocal still gets the kill, but it doesn't matter. His teammates were ready. A little bit ridiculous that he ends up with that. <laughs> still going his way, but yeah, thankfully the timing was there on SMB. Well, coordinated. Oh, playing around a tiny gap. And actually, the Viper's pit. Mm, might just pull a rotation or two at will, and just as they go to move, Zeke is ready and waiting. If anything, though, that kind of holds a couple of players back. It gives them an opening to try and find something, but Bone Cold's going to be the one to win it with a pistol. What? Leaving Glove as the solo defender, and after being tagged up twice, there was nothing he could really do. The remaining members of SMB would just fall back to save. It, it seems like they're just going to allow Killers to go on the hunt a little bit here, but... Not really spot is going to give the information over, but it might be too little too late. The slow in combination with the paint show is going to leave a, a fairly low HP player on the side. Brave is dead. He had to just try and find something there. Peeking out into the open and Izzy has gone down on the rotation. In fact, a -Sight has actually fallen into the hands of just Starzo. Trade back for Zisto, though. Does make things interesting. And Glove just comes straight through the TP and takes down two. This round is workable now. That Hunter's Fury comes through, and it almost finds Bone Cold. But Glove goes down on the way through Hookah. It's Cider X who has to clutch it out. Charging onto the <gasps> site. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> and Bone Cold might be able Issues like, you've managed to get a gun tag for CNED. He'll get out, even without his dash. 
Laying on the sage here. He'll avoid being spammed as well. The reveal going through. CNED stepping into the corner. They know exactly where he is. So many players peeking him. I don't know how he stays alive for that long. And in the process, Bone Cold takes down the whole enemy team. Four quick kills. And the round is saved with Bone Cold's ace. Ascend, look, they, they maybe shouldn't have ended up with Zeke. He's just going to force back all of these players. I doubt he'll find anything. No, he got it. And actually, Zeke got Zisto. He got him inside lamps or inside lamps. Indeed. Yeah, he peeked, he peeked out. He jumped out wide, took the shot. Another kill for Zeke as he secures that. And you've got post plant bone cold with Molly. Not much else to play with here. Uh, honestly, post plan play is unlikely. The look to actually fight on the side, and that cosmic divide further secures it. Look at the flank from Starzo, though. He is coming right up behind them. They have no idea that he can be here at this point. Eventually, they'll think about their flank, but not in time. Oh, this is so perfect. Zeke going down. They further concentrate in towards Lamps. Look at the Molly. They're looking at everything except for Starzo. And as that cosmic divide fades, Starzo strikes. Take it. I've seen that there. <laughs> Good luck when he gets a judge out or something like that. Oh, nasty stuff! Sarzo hits every single headshot! Alright, so, uh, Dream, Dream, listen, uh, I was talking to Dream on a podcast. We were chatting, and this guy said, I don't know, it's not or, or imagine if you're SMB. I doubt you'd be asking for this poor of a start if you were SMB. That would be very strange. Only Brazilian teams want that. Oh, he's in such a good spot. How does he get away with that? Two kills found, even manages to escape it. And, well, there were some vulnerabilities in this round, the weaponry being one of them, but he's already managed to get that. And he's getting closer to trying to get the red and seed in. It's just taking over this round. So he hasn't got the info just yet, but that smoke's one faded. That remaining. kills easy. And now he can get back eight. through the wall as well. Get out of there. He's not even stuck in a corner. Really nice utility that was played in the early round and working out perfectly for him here. That spike, he might be able to jump up and pick it, but uh, you know, jumping would even be difficult because there's players everywhere. And as soon as he moves, he's shot down. 11 to four. Oh, what do we do here? <laughs> it's, it, it's an impossible scenario. Eight rounds in a row needed on the attack for Supermassive Blaze just to compete in this map. And I think Ascender, Ascender kind of proven that they still got it. I don't think anyone's surprised, but Duel on the Zisto, or maybe Brave. These players have no idea what's going on as they're pushed out oh from their God. own spawn. SMB have just been caught off guard practically this whole map long, and it's going to end here with Glove. One versus four. Trapped out on long, miles away from the spike and Ascend. They're not even playing Valorant anymore. They're just running it down. They're death magic. 13-4, <laughs> we close it out. Two to 